Good afternoon lovelies, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Blackpool and I'm here on Dixon Road, quite a bit of traffic behind me, but we're just going to go and do a walkabout. It's been ages since I've done a walkabout to be fair, so let's go and see what's on Dixon Road and then we'll take a mooch through town and down onto the best place ever, the seafront. Come with me. So you've got Molly House here. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? This one looks beautiful. I've been wanting to get in there to film for so long. The Trentham Hotel. Just looking at the outside of it, it just gives off a, a really nice feel, doesn't it? Very noisy on this road. That looks like maybe a private house next to Hayward Hotel. Right, sorry, I was just trying to sort out my screen there. So you've got Hayward Hotel, Newbury. Let me just check this a minute. Cam camera's having a mad moment, one second. Right, we're back and we're sorted. Newbury, all oh, Valentine Lodge. That looks nice, doesn't it? The ValentineBlackpool.co.uk. Nice seating area. Right next door to Hotel 33. quite nice isn't it tattoo shop next door jaguar skin tattoos winner of the manchester tattoo convention 2005 you've got some greystone park apartments a cuban bar cold beers wines and cocktails seven days a week till late all spirits doubled up a pound Two premium cocktails, £12. Yes, please. <laughs> You've got a hotel there and Tropic Beach Hotel. This one looks nice, doesn't it? The Man Bar. Happy hour, seven days a week, 9am. I'm not sure what that one says. 7pm, but a one in front of it. Five o'clock? Probably that. At some point we'll get across this road. <laughs> Nightmare right after this one, we're doing it. Naughty, naughty Katie. <laughs> oh, look at that, typical. So you've got money traders over the road and lots of takeaways up here. And we're just outside the absolutely fabulous Funny Girls. If you haven't been, you need to go in and see their drag show. It's brilliant. You'll leave with your face hurting from laughing so much. They're, they're massively talented, but there's also a lot of comedy in it as well very very talented they've got um, a sister act scene in there at the minute oh it's brilliant I popped in the other night you've got Oscars here look I've not been in that Oscars yet anybody know what it's like So we're still on Dixon Road. This road goes on for miles. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a lovely day though. It's nice to be out. Look at the Holiday Inn over there. I might go and stay there one night. Get away from the kids. <laughs> You've got a flying handbag just there. That's a, a nice little pub. So some people do call that area up there, just off Dixon Road, they call it the Gay Village. So you've got a lot of LGBTQ friendly hotels and a few bars as well. Hello. And it's good for everyone to feel included as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, all of them. Uh, Myers Family Blackpool. 
Myers, M Y E R S. Yeah, sure. Our main channel's oh, Facebook. In that, in that then. <laughs> you are in it, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can say hello if you want. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Uh, there we go, it's that top one there. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. No worries. It. All right, take See care. See you later. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Right, you just got Mark Kelly's North there, look, over the road. Been in there a few times. Some good singers in there. And this, of course, is where the uh, tram station is getting built at the moment. They're all working hard, bless them. Right, let's go up this way. So the train station is just on the other side of that holiday inn up there, just over the road from the big Sainsbury's. And then if you walk to the bottom of this street here, you've got the promenade. See how long we have to wait for the green man. <laughs> oh, there we go. That wasn't bad, was it? This is where Sapphire's Club used to be. I've been in there once. It was nice. And then it closed down. Quite a shame, that. You've also got garlands just over the road there. Let's go straight down onto the prom, I think. Oh, I hate it when they're not on green. You don't want to run when they're on red, do you? Because it's my look that I'll take one step out and then they'll set off. <laughs> they can't come this way, can they? No, I don't think they can. Okay, we'll, we'll risk it. <laughs> you have to wait so long for the green man sometimes. So we're down here on Talbot Road, and this is where Sweet Treatment is based just down here. A lovely little play and dine cafe. And she changes the toys and the theme of the cafe every month. So this month it's Alice in Wonderland. I think that's nice that. It's the only play and dine cafe in Blackpool and it's something different. Heron Foods and Home Bargains two absolutely essential shops in today's um today's i'd say climate but you know cost of living and everything traditional kurdish barbers there a gent's haircut for 10 pound oh look they've got a romanian shop here look at that look And then here it is, sweet treatment just here. So Kirsty from the way I roll has been in look and she's done this in the window. Alice in Wonderland. Let's take a look back. Yeah, Kirsty's excellent. So if you've got a business and you want your shop window doing or a school i know she's done uh, she's done schools before or even at home you might have a, a fence or a wall in your garden and you want to brighten it up it'll cheer you up then won't it having a nice bright wall then get in touch with her the way i roll she's also on uh, tiktok how noisy uh, TikTok and Instagram she's on as well all that wheelchair place is closed down look I'd love one of those mobility scooters just one day though that's got to be a right laugh that um, you'll see me one day guys you'll see me whizzing past you doing michael schumacher style <laughs> just put a turbo engine on the back Vroom. i'll be up that promenade in five seconds flat mate <laughs> i'm a lunatic 
beautiful building that, isn't it? So Young People Services Connect Blackpool just there. And then we're just coming up to the Premier Inn where I stayed and did the vlog in one of their Premier Plus rooms. I can't wait to go back there. I want to stay again. Arnie's. Yeah, the, uh, the Premier Plus room in here was so nice. Go check out the vlog that I did. It was really good value as well. I got um, three course dinner, unlimited buffet breakfast, and the Premier Plus room. And I think it came to 83 or 84 pounds, something like that. But it does state all the costs and information in my post. Little black, black, <laughs> little black pug. I want to film in there. Trilogy. I feel too old now for night clubbing. I need a Zimmer frame. Although I tried to go in Pop World the other night, but they were closed. Trent, honestly, not acceptable. <laughs> So we're just heading down to the prom. I'll see if the tide's in or out. I might even go down to the beach because I was feeling a bit stressed out this morning and it's really brightened me up now having this walk, especially the promenade. It just always makes you feel better. It makes you smile, doesn't it? It does with me anyway. Always cheers me up. North Pier just in front of us. I think North Pier is the one to go to if you're wanting quiet time and you're wanting to relax. That's the perfect pier to take a book and sit and chill. Central Pier is a family pier and South Pier is a family pier but with the adrenaline junkie side. So not, not me, I'm not adrenaline junkie. <laughs> what I'd call adrenaline is the end of South Pier as a see-through floor, like a wire mesh floor, and I nearly visited heaven. I managed not even halfway round and I ran back. <laughs> That's enough dose of adrenaline for me. Yeah, North Pier is nice, but they don't allow filming on there. I've asked for permission a few times and always got told no, so I would have walked on now with it being such a nice day and it being quiet, but I can't. I don't know who that was then giving us a thumbs up. Might head down towards Central. See, I'm just winging it. That's what I do, guys. I wing it. Don't make no plans, just head off and see where my little feet take me. Oh, I'm still having problems with the internet. I've had the engineer out twice now and internet's still not fixed. I've got to wait now till tomorrow and ring them back. And the guy said to me yesterday, the next step might be the lines out in the street. They're probably gonna have to come out and do that because something's clearly not right. It's taking about nine hours to upload a 20 minute video. That's crazy, isn't it? But then by the time I get my fi video finished and I start uploading it, it's midnight when it gets posted. Look at this, the meter, small pub, big atmosphere. That is so cute. They do sandwiches. I can see a menu in the window, beef, chicken, cheese and onion, etc. Live entertainment and tea and coffee. Number one traditional rock shop. Ah. Oh, I've just whacked my elbow straight into that bollard. Ah, ow. I don't know if you saw that or not on the camera, but oh my God. God, that hurt. How did I do that? I'm a disaster on legs, I am. 
shouldn't be allowed out the house. Oh, look, is that the car that was pulled off the beach? Look. Yeah, I saw a few posts about that. Someone had said it had washed in, but surely not. I wonder if somebody actually drove down onto the beach to relax and then got caught by the tide. I've heard about that happening before. But it does baffle me how anyone would think it's okay to drive on the beach. But apparently there was two cars that was pulled off the beach as well. Oh look, high tech mini golf. Fabulous cocktails, vintage vibes, bar open to all. Family's welcome until 9 p.m. When that opens up, we'll have to go in. Live escape room. I did the escape room in um, Preston for anybody that has just joined the channel. I did that. When did I do it? Was it end of January? I don't know. It was a few weeks back anyway. Absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Really, really enjoyed it. It was something completely different. All-American diner, Vegas diner gone, and the selfie town gone. I wonder what's going to get uh, put there. I wonder if it's staying with Viva, or if it's been sold. Oh no, to let Kate, honestly. How silly can you be? It clearly says to let there. That's a shame, that. What would you like to see put there? Would you want another diner, or an attraction? I don't think we need any more um, gift shops or anything like that. We've got plenty. I don't think we need another arcade. So maybe I think a new attraction, something that we don't already have. Blackpool Council. He's brave, honestly, I'd, I'd pass out if I was up there. <laughs> Oh, I love it. All in wand. Tell you what, if you come here, you need to try the um, butter beer. That's really delicious. Close Tuesdays and Wednesdays. When they're there, too. Close Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the minute. And they got the Lancashire Tourism Awards 2023 finalist. 8.29 for an adult, 6.99 for a child, under three is a free. They also do different packages right up to VIP ones as well. Right, back to filming. Tell you what, it's got to be a goal this year to get myself fit and healthy. I need to do it. I'm shattered walking up the street, ridiculous. I'm going to start them star jumps at home and um, sit ups and stuff. I'm going to start it today, I'm going to be disciplined. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. That's a saying, isn't it? That I'm sure my nan used to say that to me. 20% off when you present your theatre ticket within 24 hours of showtime. Can't wait to go back up the tower. My knees will be knocking, but you know, it's good fun. It's good to push the boundaries, isn't it? What? Oh, no way. Uh, Blackpool Tower. There we go. Look at that. You've got th three categories of people for the tower. Love it, hate it, or me, where love it and hate it at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. Who's going up the tower this year? What do you think of the, um, the cinema, the 3D cinema thing? Or is it 4D cinema? I love that. I think it's really cool. No good for babies in there, though. You can go straight through, though, and go up to the tower. Let's see if Kaylee's going to do 100 visits this year to, uh, to the Tower Dungeons. Do you reckon she'll do it? Maybe I should get a, a reward or something if she goes 100 times. Buy her a Blackpool 
dungeon t-shirt or something. <laughs> Where are the spoons just here? Have Ian in there? It's nice. So I've had um, one or two people say before, oh, you don't say anything negative. I do, but it's very, very rarely. I'm just, I'm not one of those people, you get people, don't you, that go out of the way to nitpick and desperately try to find something wrong. Whereas I'll say something's wrong if it's wrong, you know? I just think it's it's no good nitpicking. If your food comes out cold, that's not acceptable. If it's frozen or if it's burnt, it's not acceptable. But everywhere I've been, the food's been cooked properly and it's been hot and it's tasted fine. So why would I moan, you know? If the place is dirty, that's not acceptable. If the staff are rude to you, I remember I went into, uh, what's it called now? Leighton Rakes, yeah, I went in there one day and a member of staff was really, really grumpy and it kind of in a way ruined, you know, the visit a little bit because she was so grumpy and I said that in the video and then Kaylee also said that she didn't like the person being grumpy and then someone commented calling Kaylee a brat, you know, for saying that so it's like sometimes you can't win. You say the truth and you say, you know, that member of staff's been really grumpy today there's no need and you get pulled for it and then you get pulled for it saying you never complain so that's life as a content creator oh coral island playing a bit of m&m there it's not so bad I want to thank you Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? You know, if you're feeling sad, you just have to get yourself onto the promenade and it's bound to cheer you up, isn't it? What's everyone's plans today? Well, in fact, what's everyone been doing today? Because by the time I post this, it won't be today. It'll be in a couple of days. Good job, the kids are not with me. They're like, Mom, Mom, stop it! <laughs> Life's for living. Oh, nearly fell then. Hug him and squeeze him tight. Absolutely gorgeous day. I should have brought my sunglasses. I can't even see the camera. It's so nice though, isn't it? So I think I'm just going to take another little walk and get myself back home because I've got absolutely miles and miles of uh, editing to get done. Oh look, there's a tram. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got miles of editing to do. So um, I think it's cup of tea time. But I hope you all enjoyed that little video. Uh, take care, lots of love. Please don't forget to like and share and we will see you next time. Bye.